Greetings, fellow Mainers, and welcome to Strato Mojado, brought to you by Wet Maynard. Strato Mojado is our Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition actual play podcast and webcast. And never fear, it will be brought to you in English. Why Strato Mojado? The name Strato comes from Count Strahd von Zarovich, a vampire lord and arch-villain of Curse of Strahd, the adventure campaign which we will be playing. And mojado is the Spanish word for wet. Therefore, strato mojado means wet strahd. And since running water is one traditional method for killing vampires, there you have it. For our opening session, we come to you from Butcher Bird Studios in beautiful Glendale, California. <laughs> All right, hello, welcome back. We are <laughs> playing the game of Strato Mojado. Before we start, I just want to go around the table and have everyone introduce themselves and the character you're playing. When you, when you introduce the character you're playing, we want level, <coughs> race, class, and then one sentence about your character. <laughs> wow. Level, race, class, one sentence about your character. Uh, if you're an NPC, yeah, we, you, you don't have to follow that formula. All right, so we're just gonna start here with Jenny. Oh my God, okay. So, um, so your, what's your name? My name is Bluffy. Bluffy the first name. And, and you are a level? I'm Bluffy. A, I am a level three rogue. I thought. I'm already furious. I thought, I thought he was race. Bluffy. I want, you, I want you to know that <laughs> my turn of events. I agree. My co my my name is uh, <laughs> copywritten, and that I won't tolerate any infringement no, upon my trademark. I'm a well-known folk hero in my valley. Great. Uh, my name is Nate, and I'm playing uh, Ken. Find the camera. He is Look a dragonborn. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> he is a dragon born again Christian uh, who believes in the power of dragon Jesus uh, to save us all, our immortal souls. Level? I'm a level three. Cleric? Uh, yeah, cleric. Mm. Hi, I'm Min Win. Find the camera. Find the camera. There you are. Uh, I am playing Tinoch, uh, although Tinoch is uh, on a little respite right now. Uh, Tinoch is a human cleric, also of Jesus Christ, brothers in Christ. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> When you say on a break, that's not how I recall yeah. Tinox. I didn't want to spoil things. Uh, oh, we were oh that's a little bit of a reveal. It's a reveal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, He's let's dead. go back to one, everybody. <laughs> back to one. Okay. Um, you, have, you have to modulate your levels a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, modulate uh, your levels a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt yeah. uh, But for this adventure, I will be playing Ismark and Doru as well. There you go. Tinoch mm -hmm. Tinoch et or is Tinoch et or is a uh, human cleric uh, currently level two or two, something. Yeah. Can he come back? Okay. Next. I am Lisbeth Nightshade. I'm human. I'm a wizard level three, and I specialize in cleaning and decorating. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot that part. <laughs> How could you? And she, uh, one shooting fire and like fighting enemies, sure. Oh, but. sure. <laughs> That's how you but Everybody it. does that everybody in this game. Does. Not too many people clean. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh, a lot of killing things. My cleaning lasts one hour. There's a lot of pillaging. <laughs> no, actually. There's not a lot of cleaners in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> There are certain effects that last an hour, but once it gets cleaned, I think it stays clean, doesn't it? That's amazing. Art? Correct, correct. It, yeah, the cleaning doesn't get dispelled. Yeah, but, you guys but thought I was joking. You guys thought I was joking. She literally has the power to make things clean. This is the greatest power there is. It really is. I do love it when you walk in and you're like, I don't know, clean it. <laughs> uh, I am Buffy the half elf. Oh my god. Buffy and Bluffy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a weird coincidence. I'm sure there's nothing at all suspicious <laughs> about any of that. Fake. I'm a level three paladin, and uh, what was the other thing I was supposed to tell people? A sentence about you. Uh, one sentence about yourself. Um, I did terrible things to avenge the murder of my parents. <gasps> okay. 
Good for you. My name is Anna Wenger, and I am DMing with Arthur Milliken, though I would call him the DM and me the DA. (laughs) Dungeon Apprentice. I'm learning. Bear with me. Matt Yamashita, um, playing the Wiz. Who has been giving me weird looks for the last 15 minutes in character and is Are you sure he was in character? Already, <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if I would go that far. Already trying to sway the game. Let me say this. Already. Yeah. Um, already. It's time for Wanger to seize control. I would um, never. It's time for Arthur to leave. Oh. At some point soon, oh, damn. Arthur will leave for oh, a period damn. of time, and Wanger will do it on her own. Oh. No, I yes, will. Yes, you will not. Yeah, because that's in how you learn. End. That's how you learn. You jump in and you swim. <laughs> playing the whiz, the whiz is playing me. Um, <laughs> it is what it whiz. <laughs> that's it, all you it, need to know. It whiz what it is. Yeah, I'm Arthur. It whiz Milligan. what it is, and it is what it whiz. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's better. Is. That's better. We had to workshop that for a second. But that's awesome. a lot of lot of synchronicity over here. As soon as we get rid of Arthur, it's on. I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Hold this back. Dead, we call this guy dead weight. Dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm Arthur Milliken. I'm your dead weight for tonight. And uh, there's a there's an empty seat next to me. That's for that's for Sean, who will be playing drunk, the half orc bard. Um, all right. So, uh, Tenok et or Tenok et or Minwin, can yeah. you explain the meaning of the name Tenok et or? Oh yeah, sure. It's, uh, it means light uh, of of uh, no oh, newborn, newborn, newborn of light or something of light. Like that. Yes, mm-hmm. okay. uh, it's a Hebrew. <laughs> Tenok, <Tinoch>, no. <laughs> yeah, well, I, hey, Tenok is in another place right now. He's barely hanging. Yeah, on. yeah. Tenok is dead. His skull having been split open by the business end of a heavy mace wielded by Tenok himself. Tenok's ankles are bound by manacles and he hangs upside down over a blood-stained altar resting in the secret basement of the Death House, a Victorian-style mansion nestled in the village of Barovia in the county of Barovia. And we're going to try and see see if uh, I understand how this uh, software works. Well, <laughs> Does do anybody else think it's weird that the county and the town are both Yeah, like, confusing, isn't it? I think it's right. I think it's a way yeah, short sell to call county it in Los Angeles. Call it the Death same. House. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of gives it away. <laughs> gives it away. For those of and you from, who from a real estate <laughs> point of view, <laughs> not going to Not sell. so good. Not going to sell. sell. For those you can do better. <laughs> for those of you who witnessed this grisly event, you I'd are call living. It, I'd call it Lifehouse adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> Lifehouse adjacent. You are living a nightmare. Two sad children starved to death, locked in the attic by their ghoulish parents. Maybe it's better not to remember. You carry <laughs> job <Tenox>. done. <laughs> <laughs> You carry Tenok's lifeless body through twisted earthen passages to a spiral staircase which climbs up to the four-story attic and then drag him further down three stories to the ground floor and then out into the blinding rain. An impenetrable impenetrable bank of fog once blanketed the village of Barovia which has now been replaced by a torrential downpour of cold piercing rain and hail. A single solitary vampire bat flaps away from the portico roof as soon as you exit the death house with the corpse of Tenok. Across the cobblestone street, you see a blurry gray mass of wood and cloth. A spry old woman, soaked to the bone, struggles to pull a wooden pastry cart out of the slippery mud. Me pies, me pies. Pies are getting soaked. Did you say spry, old woman? Yeah, I, I use adjectives randomly sometimes. <laughs> okay. They may, like may or may not sure. actually. You know, uh, yeah. Roll a d10 and <laughs> choose an adjective based on your answer. <laughs> meat, meat pie, pies, meat, oh, pie meat, meat pie couldn't hurt too much. Meat pies are getting soaked. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Who, who are How you? How much for the meat pies? I can't sell you any meat pies right now. I, I would gladly... You were just <laughs> advertising meat pies. No, I was lamenting the fact that my me meat pies are getting soaked by the rain. My cards being knocked over. I, I love in the wet dish. meat pies. 
<laughs> Everybody loves wet meat pies. Everybody loves Everybody my meat pies all the time. Like, they come yeah. to me, they say, Morgantha, Morgantha, please give me more meat pies. I can't live without your meat pies. Well, I can't make more meat pies unless my cart is out of this ditch. Can you please, please, please help me get this cart out of this ditch? Nope. Please, I'll give you the meat pies then. I will. That's not my job, lady. I'm a I'm a half elf vampire killer. I'm here to kill vampires. Is there anyone else who yeah, have no, a man, good heart? Yeah, no, ma'am. It's a strength check away. No problem. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Oh wait, hold on. So I just much. read. I, also... I will try to help those in need, no matter the personal cost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in God need. God damn it! Me cart, me cart. Oh, me cart is down. Me meat pies are getting wet. It's me this only is what I get for being a haunted income. <gasps> Oh, please, so will you help me get me cart out? Where's your cart? Out of the ditch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come down here. We follow her. I follow her. I can't speak for the others. I, I rolled I rolled a 16 plus 2, it's 18. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, you successfully pull the meat, the cart out of the mud. It's raining really hard. Wonderful, wonderful. Now let me get you some fresh meat pies. Now these ones are a little bit soaked, but I will gladly give you some that I can warm up here in my cart. People say to me, Morgantha, Morgantha, give me more meat pies. But I say to them, I cannot give you meat pies without goods and services. But clearly, you have provided goods and services, which is helping me get my cart out of this ditch. Now just stand by one moment here. My name is Morgantha, I may have said that. Father's name Morgan, mother's name Samantha. Yes, yes, yes. Would anyone like a splash of a little bit of wine from the Wizard of Wine? I really only have a pint left, but you're all so kind. I might just give you a little splash. Anyone interested? Is this the, real, the, 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 the wine is labeled Purple Grape Mash Number 3. It's my favorite. <laughs> purple Grape Mash Number 3 is so much better than Purple Grape Mash Number 2. So the Wizard of Wines was kind enough to give me one of his last bottles. But yeah, and then washes down a wet meat pie like... Great mash. Well, uh, well, throw well. one of those over here. Now let me just give you each just a little splash. It's all I have while I ready the meat pies. Now stand by. Here you go. Here's a little splash of wine. Anyone else want a little splash of wine? Can I help her by drying the pies? By what the pie? Oh, drying the pies? Yeah, we yeah. can cleric warm them, Ooh. right? With our oh, oh, you're, you're gonna press to digitate the yeah. pies? Yeah. yeah. Press okay, to okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the 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 tinkle of magic comes from your fingertips as as <laughs> you, uh, you sort of say, Morgana. Oh. What kind of meat is this? Morgantha. Morgantha. Again, father's name Morgan. Mother's name Samantha. <laughs> I have a hard time with th. <laughs> Yes, no, Morgantha. Yes, um, uh, there are wow. all different types of meat in here. We've got pigeon, we've got pig, we've got gerbil, we've got uh, uh, a snake, if you're into that sort of thing. But if you're no, not, no, I am a dragon oh, more of a dragon. Oh, yes, no dragon. I'm not I've a not cannibal. A dragon. Of course, of course. I understand, I understand. Would you eat uh, monkey what, meat? What would you like? No, no. What about you're fowl? Uh, oh, well, you could consider me that, I'm sure. Well, you're, I've been you're worse. infuriating me with this... <laughs> Trying to feed me lizards, it's offensive. How about beef? <laughs> yeah, I could go or down for that. Or chicken. Do you like chicken? Yeah. I've got lovely turkey as well. Now you're, now you're talking. All righty. Now you, uh, madam, you, you can dry my meat pies? Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Have a little splash of wine. I really appreciate oh, it. Thank you. The second you know what though? They were on the they they were like on the street in the gutter. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, well, yeah, they've just, been cleaned. I mean, just because I they're know. dry now. Do you have the power to clean? Yes, I do. Well, yes. there you go. Okay. Yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah. make sure we're A cubic we're foot all worth of meat pies. A cubic foot? You said a pubic foot <laughs> worth. A pubic <laughs> foot. <laughs> I wish I had a pubic foot worth. I really appreciate you helping me dry these pies. I, of course, won't give you any of them that have been on the ground that have been soiled. I wouldn't do that. I'm a businesswoman. I have excellent meat pies. Something's got to pay for my mill and getting all the flour and all the meat together. And the various evil. That costs, too. <laughs> I, I'm just... You know, this happens up. to every woman who decides to move into a mill sure, by herself sure. with a few cats make and her two single about, daughters. Oh, she must gender. be a witch. Let's yeah, yeah, burn yeah. her at the stake. <laughs> you, you, know, you know the wiz is exactly there yet. <laughs> Do these meat pies smell okay? Are they off? I mean... They smell delicious. They're the best in they, the they, land. They look... They look yeah, every they look time pretty good. They look pretty good. crazy they're, they're, you know, person nice offers you pies. You're not here. 
I'm not. My crust I'm not. is perfect, but you've already tasted the wine. Have they tasted the wine? Have they tasted the wine? Have you tasted the wine? Have you tasted no. the wine? No. no. I, I tasted the wine. I'm not really sure about I'm, tasting this I'm wine. I'm doing now, one of these, you know? Have you tasted the wizard of yeah. wines? Have you yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it, Buffy let is 16 bit, years old. She doesn't drink wine. Um, <laughs> the wizard... The wizard. Can I ask a question? Yes. The, <laughs> Bluffy... <laughs> And Buffy is here with, is in our group. Oh yeah, should I make an entry? <laughs> um, so Bluffy. It's okay if she's not. I just don't I, know if she's. I don't think is I'm she here, here yet. or she is she not is. here? She is here. Yes, okay. she is here. And one, one of the things that kind of because I would find that strange world, that there's a brand new person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but game. that's kind of the thing is this happened with Lizbeth. She kind of disappeared. Right, and she was gone, and she's back. And, and you, you've kind of noticed these things. People kind of pop in and out. I'm traveling. Okay. I could just kind of come for the meat pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just kind of show up. So are you saying that I pies. should... Everybody loves As a meat character, pie. am I concerned about the appearance of a new person? Nah, 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 Not totally. Nah, we're we're nah, actually nah, going nah, to... It's nah. weird that our names yeah. are so similar. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. I've discovered right. the smell of lovely meat pie. Did she warm my meat pies? Because if she did, I would think that would warrant her an extra meat pie. I'm, I'm all right, thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, so you... You didn't. Right. You didn't warm the meat pies. I wasn't warming. I was cleaning. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful to clean them. Warming. I was warming. I am warming <laughs> them anyway in my cart. It's something that I do. It's a service that I provide. As I've said before, I'm a businesswoman. You should come visit me Mor at my mill. Morgantha. I have a lovely cafe. Uh, uh, Morgantha, um, how uh, how'd you how'd you get here in the fog? By how'd you the deal cart. with that fog? The cart that you saw me. Did you notice some thick ass fog recently? Oh, it is quite thick ass, yes. It's always been like this, though. And we just, you know, go around in it anyway. I mean, what else is there to do? There's fog. What else are you going to do? Just sit at home it and not sell your meat pies? No, no. I walk all around, I go all around, I go with my cart from town to town, and I sell my meat pies. Thankfully, you rescued I, me today, I and I do you appreciate it. Ten dollars if you stop saying me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Firstly, I don't know what dollars are. Ooh, Good, burn. sir burn or burn. madam. Yeah. I'm not gold, sure. Gold Byzantine, uh, yeah. maybe. <laughs> gold Byzantine, anyone? Gold but here that might interest for you. ten gold Byzantines. Uh huh. I will refer to them as meat pastries. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a deal? I mean, that's not pies. that much better, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, what about is it still foggy, or can we no, sort of no, see? No, the fog is lifted, but it's rainy. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Okay. So if I just oh, show up, rainy. can I, like, get a meat Hold pie on. or Let's something? Get some rain. Oh. There she I is. would love to give you a meat pie. Are you friends with these good folk who helped me get my cart out of the of the rut? Well, that depends. Will that give me a meat pie? You know what? Meat pies for everyone. I need to be on my way. <laughs> I I give each of you a meat pie. Oh, Morganza, do you? And a splash uh, of wizard wine. And I do, if the poor wizard of wines can get his self together, uh, he does make the finest wine in the land. And uh, you could go visit wine. him as well. I drink ice cream. It's delicious, that wine isn't it? Oh. Isn't it divine? Oh, it, it tastes exactly like grape mash number three. That's right. The best. Anyway, yeah. I'll be on my way. Back to my cats. Back to my mill. Back to my daughters. Back to my pies. Ta-ta! Uh, 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 <laughs> anybody you have detect in Before you rush off, so you're Pardon? going to a mill where you live with your daughters. I do, uh, yes. What are their names? God, that's such Bella. a good How question. How old is it? <laughs> Bella, like Bella like Sunbane Bella and Sun Ola of that's Wormwiggle. Right. Wormwiggle. <laughs> Wormwiggle, <laughs> something like that. Bella. Oh, they sound just lovely. They're delightful girls. They're learning to bake. We're doing the best we can with them. You know, they do. We the have best Bella they can. Sunbane and Ophalia Wormwiggle. That's right. You know, we make do. We have a lovely cafe. We make wonderful meat. Pastries. <laughs> and as, yeah, as sure. she's talking, she just starts walking to one of the doors on. And I'm mm, just gonna go sell me meat pies oh, wanna, around town, and I, I, I really and thank you. What happens to people is who there a barber? Is there a tavern you? of some kind? <laughs> yeah, you think you remember? There's a tavern in the center of town. You're kind of you're kind of off to the 
the east and see uh, where all the Sure, all the go to the center of town, right down that road. See, You'll see where find I'm circling? the tavern. That's the tavern oh. right there, right Look there. The map. You may there take some blood, meat. The pies blood on the vine like. tavern. Take along with you. I'm going Who to Who has detect poison? Oh, that's a good uh, idea. Who has detect I? bullshit? <laughs> 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 I uh, I have detect magic. No. Well, you see her. You see her uh, arguing, arguing with one of the one of the tenants in one of the houses, or some some kind of some kind of a scuffle between. You know no, what? Some kind e- of an e- argument e- between e- her and want. someone. I'm going to the I'm going to the tavern. I'm here to kill vampires. What I have she's one a job. She's not a vampire. She wouldn't be selling me. No. Yeah. 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 And 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 the the argument. Continues to the point where um, they, they they seem to be scuffling over something. Uh, the, the the parents have a, a child with them, and 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 Morgantha's is sort of pulling the child away from the parents. <gasps> okay, right? I rush over there. I'm I'm just eating the meat pie, watching mm-hmm. the whole thing go down. And, and and the parent the parents are just sort of in tears right now. Um, and yeah, this is uh, this, this totally now like, you told me you would pay me for your, my meat pies and you have not paid me. Therefore, how much did this lady here, owe you for the pies? At least 10 Byzant gold things. Uh, Wait a second. second. That's extreme for a meat pie. What's <laughs> <laughs> a ton, uh, man? Yeah, they, they're, they're into you for 10, 10 meat pies. One, is one Byzant gold per, gold per pie. One Byzant oh, per pie. I've given them 10. It would be these like a cover. Cover. These are some whole food meat Let pies. me speak. The I hell? tell you, these <laughs> people, every week I come here and they say, oh, please give me a meat pie. Please, Morganda, give me more meat pies. I need meat pies. I'm going <laughs> to die if I don't take a child. <laughs> well, I can, and he can wow. work at my uh, mill. Uh, how many other them. babies have you commandeered? None. Your, your weird business. <laughs> I want to create this an illusion. This child has come with me to work at the mill. What, what illusion this do you want to This is a baby, create? isn't it? I want to no, create the illusion of a, child. a uh, small child. I would yeah. never take huh? a baby. Who do you, you think? You want to create an illusion of what? A small child. He's okay, a baby. there's another Eight. small child. <laughs> uh, would it be a super meaty <laughs> small an, child? An incredibly <laughs> meaty looking small child. Yeah. And the small child runs out of the house and runs up to Morgantha and says, Take me, take me. <laughs> Don't take my sister. I volunteer myself. The child smells of barbecue sauce. Child, I'm it's not taking child. you. I am angry at these people for not paying their debts. This is how I operate, and quite honestly, in the past, good sir and madam, other people have willingly given me their children to come and work at the mill as needed in order to make my pies. They give me free labor. This has happened before. Acting like this is an anomaly is, uh, uh, frankly, well, atrocious. Everybody wants to get rid of a burdensome <laughs> child, but. Well, you know. it is a fair exchange, and I, I swear I have never encountered such resistance quite, from parents before. Quite frankly, I don't enjoy being in this house, and my mommy and daddy like my sister better than they like me, so I would like to go with you. So says the imaginary child. Yes. Uh, Think you, about it. Is there a reason ruminate? you like her more than you like me? Well, the, these you people. You like her more than you like me. Is this the their child? Is a, this your child? Of an innocent mm-hmm. imaginary child. Is this your? I'm asking the parents. I want to make a deal with you no, over that side. Said Listen, that, yes, I got sir. twenty Byzants. Wonderful. I'll Do take it. Do you have? I'm a dragonborn. Yes. Do you have any human meat pies? Because that's what I really want. No, I would never do that. I would never have a human meat pie, sir. You were offended when I offered you snake. And now you offer me people of my own flesh. I would never. Yeah, you're a bad man. This is some sweetie. In fact, I'm ready to move on from this whole (laughs) entire encounter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have given you all meat pies. She stuffs the I child into a sack, you. loads of sack, no, loads no, no, of sack. No, 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 no. She can't just do all that. I, I'm not, we're not going to You didn't have to eat the meat pie. She just gave you a meat the pie. The parents allow it. They always allow yeah. it. Chill out, man. She <laughs> handed you a meat pie. Don't eat the meat pie. Don't be a problem. If she she picks the, the sack up with the child in it and then just vanishes with the child. Poof. Is there a reason Poof. she didn't take my imaginary child? Yeah. Because it was imaginary, I, well, probably. Well, the parents said that's not our child. Those yeah. stupid people. You can't yeah. do all that with the minor illusion. You can't. 
Yeah, you can. I no, can create no, a minor it, illusion. It, it, the, a minor illusion is either something you can see or it's something you can hear. It's not both. You have to choose and one or the other. Stationary. And it's and it cannot move. Nobody told me this when Could I was I have done yeah. Yeah. Just, just I've for learning. Could I have done uh -huh. charm person there? And you could have like, tried it, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Morgantha my a little tough. All right. As she vanishes, you hear, I've got the best meat pies. Super good. <laughs> Super good. I feel like we just lost our first encounter. <laughs> I feel like we failed right old there. Old mill down the road. What like could you have done differently? Delicious. Go to that mill down the road <laughs> and break out all those children. Uh, Rescue the children. The so so uh, just out of curiosity, uh, what is the disposition of Tenok's corpse? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just got it. On the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm carrying him like a backpack. You carrying know. him like a backpack. Okay. Ken, you notice uh, you notice actually uh, uh, something tucked into his belt. It looks like a, a scroll or something like that. Dope. Um, actually, Sticky. you remember that scroll. Yeah. You remember that scroll, and and you found it. You found it a couple days ago. Uh, we'll we'll do a little flashback. We'll do a little flashback with Ken. Um, that's right. That's right. Um, and Wait, where's my magic? Sound? So 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 we're gonna we're gonna go back a couple days. We have Ken and Tenok, Tenok alive, right? Traveling together, um, and you want to take it? Oh, wait. This is a plea for help. Oh, oh. We are at a plea for help. Because they looked at the scroll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's an excellent sound effect. <laughs> Okay. The scroll Buffy has a the magical house, right? soundboard that doesn't so, yeah, do anything but create. We'll, we'll start with sounds. the backgrounds. <laughs> Ken found this scroll on Tenok, which he remembers. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna now we're gonna go back in time to when they discovered that scroll. And now they're having a flashback, yeah. and they are in. Um, okay, great. So we start with the backgrounds. Okay. So tell us, tell us who you are. Tenok et or. Human cleric of Jesus Christ. I'm on a pilgrimage. I've been walking, I've been seeking, I've been seeking a book, seeking many books. And then uh, here I am, wherever I am, where am I? You're in a tavern. In a tavern, mm -hmm. tavern, long, parched. Mm -hmm. Whew, I wish we had water here, but uh, they don't let you bring water to the tables <laughs> at this tavern. They're very strict about it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's this dragonborn just eyeballing me up and down over here. Are How you are together? You? Good to meet you. Uh, what? It happened? felt like you wanted to do more there. It's a flashback. <clears throat> are, are you here to pillage this village, too? Pilgrimage. What's that? Uh, it's a journey of spirit and uh, self. I'm out, I'm out here trying to pillage. It's pretty much a journey of spiritual self, too. Pillage. What are you pillaging? Oh, we believe in the power of Jesus Christ, the original dragon, and uh, we want to take over all the villages around uh, and uh, force them to convert to Christianity. Jesus Christ, the original dragon. That's right. That's right. Uh, he he sacrificed himself. Yes, that yes, all he did. dragonborns may be reborn. He sacrificed himself for us. And I want to spread the good news forcibly on the ignorant uh, other uh, people's uneducated masses. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm on. I'm on. I'm on a, I'm on a pillage. I'm a pillage. Grimage. I'm on a pillage. Pil pillage. A pillage. Pillage. Grimage. Grimage. I see. How about you? Yes. Basically the same, but without the pillaging part. What'd you call it? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, are you having a drink? Hell yeah. <laughs> We'll order one and then we can have one later. All right, all right. You're a cool yeah. dude. So this is the meeting of Tenok and Ken. Yeah, exactly, exactly. How, how would you know each other? The, either you're meeting now or you we're already know now. each other. I okay. think we're meeting now. Okay. This is the, I, thought, I thought that was the first meeting of... Up to you, up to you. We, we, like we, all all we want to do we is figure out how you, you how you are traveling together. Right. Dusty they established travelers. that. That was that would be super awkward now if they knew each other. <laughs> the way they greeted each other. Yeah, yeah. Because I be hardly awkward. ever come I, up to you and be like, so I was a little confused. <laughs> I didn't know exactly I think where they we established were it. I didn't know exactly yeah, yeah. when we were gonna be. 
No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 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 back in time a, a, a few days. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are we in Barovia yet? You're not in Barovia. Not in Barovia. So yeah, now now we go into the box text. Okay, so you are in a dusty tavern together. To a party of seasoned adventurers such as yourselves, what you see is but another dull tavern in another dull town in some nameless province. But it is another span of time between the challenges of true adventuring. Outside the tavern, a fog lies over the town this evening. The damp, cobbled pavement glistens as the lights of, the, of street lanterns dance across the slick stones. The fog chills the bones and shivers the soul of anyone outside. You remember the fog, right? Yet inside these tavern walls, the food is hearty and the ale is warm and frothy. A fire blazes in the hearth and the tavern is alive with the tumbling voices of country folk. Suddenly, the tavern door swings open. A hush falls over the room. Framed by the lamp-lit fog, a form strides through the doorway. His heavy, booted footfalls and the jingle of his coins shatter the silence. His brightly colored clothes are draped in loose folds about him, and his hat hangs askew, hiding his eyes in the shadows. Without hesitation, he walks up to your table and stands proudly in a wide stance with folded arms. In an accented voice, he says, Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty Very good. Good. Pretty good, yeah. Have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart? Blessings be with you. Into my heart? That's not quite. Who? Lord Jesus Christ? Yeah, our Lord and Savior. He sacrificed himself that all may live. Some people we're already, in the kingdom of we're heaven already Not everybody's on board with that idea. Forever. Live forever? Mm. Uh, yeah, in grace yeah. and mercy. And, and, uh, he Maybe? washes away your sins with uh, his blood. Super cool. Super cool. This noble stranger searches for creatures, creatures of honor to help him. Mm, I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking for some creatures of honor. Well, I'm thinking. You got a robe with folds and stuff and a hood and some fanciness. I got the same thing. We look like we're both cut from the same cloth. Are, we, are you on a journey, a pilgrimage? I don't know. This is a pretty dull tavern in a pretty dull town, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I wrote down here. Oh, man, I can't even read it anymore. <laughs> it's all just Wing this, it. You know, you have a lot of these text boxes, and you just, after a while, they blend together. <laughs> uh, no, don't point to it. It is what it is. It whiz what it whiz, brother. Uh, I like your outfit. Pretty foggy out there. Yeah, super foggy. Maybe Super not buggy. so much anymore. Yeah, it no, no, this out. is the past, Joe. You know, the past. It's, it's back oh, to the fog. Hey, that? if you ever want to know what the weather was <laughs> yesterday, I'm about 95 percent accurate. <laughs> um, perhaps to this noble stranger, these two wanderers will be of help. Perhaps not. <laughs> Let me talk to you about that outfit. I like the beads. I like everything you're doing for a dragonborn. I haven't seen that look before, and I like it. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the full splendor. Let's go ahead and spin this camera around. Spin it around. <laughs> Let's check this out. Now, come on. The cameras are on me? <laughs> I know. It's tough. He's uh, already got a camera. Oh, we got yeah, another camera yeah, over there? Yeah, That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. That's no, pretty good. Cameras. You guys look like you're down. Believe me, we're getting you're made. You're down. <laughs> Did you want Did me you to? take your pants off as you were requesting? Talk to me about Jesus Christ. I, I still got... I'm into it. I still got my, my, my underwear on. Keep them on for now. We'll take them off later when the time's right. You don't want to spring that trap early. It seems like perhaps the noble stranger should ask the wanderers for help. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Hey, I could <laughs> use a little help. We're on a pilgrimage. Okay. Uh, perhaps the wanderers will offer to help him. Sure, we'll help. <laughs> you know, we're helpful dudes. Just two helpful dudes. Because they serve, uh, I got a message. For the message is for you. And You're looking I, at him. No, no, both of you. Oh. The message is for both of you. And I have read the message, but I'll let you read it for yourself. <laughs> I hand them a message. Uh -huh. He is noble and valiant. <laughs> Could you do us the favor of reading it for us? Uh, there it is. I, I, right I there. Will. Here, here it is. You know, I mean, hail to thee of might and valor. I, 
a lowly servant of Barovia, send honor to thee. We plead for thy so desperately needed assistance. The love of my life, Irina Kolyana, has been afflicted by an evil so deadly that even the good people of our village cannot protect her. She languishes from her wound, and I would have saved, I would have her saved from this menace. There is much wealth in this community. I offer all that might be had to thee and thy fellow, if thou shalt but answer my desperate plea. Come quickly, for her time is at hand. All that I have shall be thine. Kolyan Indirovich, Burgomaster. It sounds like a trap. Yeah. Um, sometimes you get a letter in a tavern, and the best thing to do is just crumple that shit up and toss it. Is this and one of those times? Could be. Hard to tell. What There's do you say we sack this town and turn them all into Christians? Again, uh, I don't know about the Christian part. I don't know what the Christian thing is. I, I could get behind it if you lay it down for me. If you, um, Where'd you get this letter from? Um, yeah, you know, it's just, my memory is not what it was. It's all suspicious. It's super suspicious. If that's what you're trying to get at. Yeah, a little bit. Super suspicious. You can, know. Can I roll a perception check? An insight check? Yeah, yeah roll, make an insight check. Make an insight roll. Now, now, this guy gave you this letter and said, find a couple of dudes with might and valor and what's, just give it to what's, them? What's that, what's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? Uh, well, Kolyan Indirovich. Indirovich. Burgomaster. The Burgomaster. Burgo, Burgomaster? Master. Burgomaster. Burgermaster. 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 That sounds like somebody That's I would what know. I always get when it's I It's something yeah. colon burgermaster. The, the, <laughs> the colon burgermaster? That's something I definitely know. Sounds I get like it with bacon. Food. Listen, <laughs> you know, you do it, you don't do it, you did it, you didn't do it. Are I'm, you going to do it? Am I going to do it? Absolutely not. No, my my thing is, the message he gave me was, deliver, find some guys, what were the words, Valor. I was, uh, yeah, might and valor. Might and valor. So I forgot the might part. That's why I picked you. But I saw might the valor. Have valor, yeah. I saw the valor, and then he said, uh, also, he said chicken wings. <laughs> and if I came to the bar, chicken wings half off. So I've kind of hit it, and I'm I'm about to cash in on the chicken wings. The barman delivers chicken wings Bingo. at half price Bingo. to the table. Done As and done. Done and ordained. done. Yes, that's the end of the flashback. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you re- you remember now. After 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 receiving that letter, you wa- started walking together, and you were covered in a covered in a mist. Chicken grease. You were oh. covered in mist. <laughs> you were covered in mist, and then you ended up in Barovia. Mm. So that's that's where that's Barovia. yeah that's that's part of how what got you here. Uh, so so okay, we're back in real time. Um, back in real time, you've got your, you're carrying Tenok's body. He's got this scroll on him, uh, the scroll asking for where the Burgomaster is asking for help. Um, and it's, it's raining again. Morgantha's gone. Her, her, her cart is still there. And, uh, you've got Tenok's corpse. I, I, I forgot to mention that um, when it started raining, I, I took off my clothes uh, because my, my skin's waterproof. So I just packed my clothes uh, away. Okay. So you're... N- he, 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 well, he's Show as it. naked as a dragonborn. Do it. it. My scales <laughs> are day, waterproof. He's as that naked way, as the day he was dragonborn. That way I could, I could save play, my clothes play and keep them wet, you know. Uh, please, please, no. <laughs> Go to the should polls. We, should we have a vote <laughs> Go to the polls. <laughs> Go to the polls. <laughs> Go to the phones. Our lines are open. Uh, okay, we well, I, I have a yeah. I, I have fun. <laughs> this is this is from from Christine G. Um, feels like a college reunion podcast. Wow, there's too much blasphemy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh Christine, that sounds like a vote for a keep That's, the clothes off. We're just getting warmed up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even Thank done you, Christine. Yeah. Blasphemy. Where was the blasphemy? Wow. If okay. this were an actual college reunion, we'd all be drunk and Nathan would have his clothes on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we, 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 we'd be in much, much worse shape. <laughs> worse. <laughs> it's all subjective. So anyway, what's happening it's raining. now? It's raining. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's move you back to the village of Barovia. 
Uh, really they really still yeah, have the meat pies. Okay. Did anything happen oh, when I ate the, the meat pies and drank the wine? That's the wrong or is that? That's the wrong no. Yeah, she was gonna take one for the team. No, no I, I drank that like stuff. Bluffy. You did eat, eat it, pie. right? I ate that. Oh, you ate that? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It tastes actually uh, remarkably stale and 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 tasteless. Um, Does but it taste it goes, like it little goes, kids? It goes down pretty. Does it taste like little kids? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, he was gonna yeah, say. it's a it's a. Well, yeah, they're sort of chalky and, and, and not a lot of flavor, but you like it anyway. It's delicious. You like it anyway. She loves yeah. it. There's yeah, you like that chalky, it. non-flavor. Yeah. Actually, like the- yeah, it does It does taste like the last child that you ate. It has kind of a similar flavor to that. <laughs> so this is the Barovian version of fast food. Um, yeah. I, th- I think so. I think so, yeah. Let run with it. Raining. All Raining, right. yeah. Barovian. Yeah. Raining. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's Raining. Sure. <laughs> That's pretty much I said all I wanted got. to go to the tavern. We're going to the tavern. B- Buffy, want, okay. You, you wanna... Does anyone care if Bluffy is this where the, along the where the her? Wizard of Wine is hanging? Yeah, yeah. Join us. Come on over. Yeah. I mean, it would feel I strange feel like, not to. And I feel like since Bluffy already tried everything that was poisonous, we should just bring her along. <laughs> she can keep me. Yeah. yeah. So far, so good with Bluffy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Areas of the village. I didn't. I didn't think you'd actually make it to the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guy. Well, historically, that's what's more <laughs> supposed to happen? We couldn't even get true. off the porch of the house. Really. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. far more interested in the mill. Yeah, a single shaft yeah. of light thrusts illumination into the main square. <laughs> its brightness looking like a solid pillar in the heavy fog, um, in the heavy rain. Above the gaping doorway, a sign hangs precariously askew, proclaiming this to be the blood on the vine. Tavern. Oh, this is so promising. The description oh, includes close the words inspection, shaft, thrusting, and gaping. Yeah, and yeah. blood. <laughs> close okay. inspection okay. of the sign reveals that it originally read "blood of the vine," but an N has been scratched over the F, and so now it's "blood on the vine." This once finely appointed tavern has grown shoddy over the years. A blazing. Well, you're not inside, so. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Yeah, I want to go inside. Okay. Vampires are all about blood, and I'm here to kill vampires. Yeah, yeah. A blazing fire in the hearth gives scant warmth to the few huddled souls within. They include the barkeep, three colorful women sitting together in a booth, and a, uh, a man with gray hair, a young man with gray hair. Um... Sitting, sitting at the bar. Sort of a Steve Martin type. Yeah. What makes the girls? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. makes the ladies so colorful? Oh, uh, they're just wearing colorful clothes. Yeah, it's not colorful by race. It's colorful by what they're wearing. I want to go to the bar and talk to the young guy. Um, the clothes here are so pretty. I just love them. Yeah, Look at the lady. Let's see, you're smart. I'm going to need to go shopping. Yeah, I want to talk yeah. to him too. I'm curious about old young men with gray hair. There's, yeah. there's, there's, there's Mark Kulyanovich. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's cute too. That's Let's him. go talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Ismark. I am Ismark. Hey, welcome. Ismark. I trust him implicitly. Welcome, welcome. New so travelers he's, from he's out of town. Related to the people in that letter. Yes. Yeah. What letter? What letter? Uh, it it go, doesn't oh, mention an who? Ismark. No, it's. Uh, Oh, Kolyan Indirov. In, is that Kolyan Indirovich? Yeah, yeah, you, you're really good at reading over shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. C- can I take a look at the Oh, the sure. Ah, oh, what does it say? Hail to the... How's my accent? The love of my life. Irina, Kolyan, Kol, Kol, Kolyan. It depends on what accent you're trying <laughs> to do. Yes, that my, my sister, Irina. This is uh, Kolyan Indirovich. So you're that you're is you're Ismark Kolyanovich. She's she's Irina Kolyana. That just basically means son of Kolyan. Right? Family name. Yeah, Kolyan Indirovich is the son of Indiri Diro. something. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that uh, that is uh, talking about Irina, my my sister, my adopted sister. And 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 this Kolinich guy is your um father. Dad. Right? Okay. Yes. He is, uh, unfortunately, he's, he's passed away. He's deceased. Ah, is this letter welcome, his welcome last... Welcome to Barovia. Is this his last letter that he ever wrote, do you think? I mean, it's not dated. Ah, this is, uh... How long's your sister been missing? 
That is strange because Irina, she has been afflicted by an evil. That is correct. But uh, there is something. This is not my father's writing. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, you m watching him flip through the scroll. You've you've got a scroll like that actually. Oh. And yeah. Yeah. In in um. Uh, it's, it's like it's in your pocket, and oh yeah, you remember you found it a couple days ago. So we'll we'll do another flashback. We're gonna do another flashback. Uh, so this flashback involves uh, Lisbeth and Bluffy. Oh, and oh, Bluffy. we know each other. So so Bluffy, yeah. Let, uh, remind us, what is your background? Wait, Bluffy's background. Bluffy's background. Oh, okay, Bluffy's background. Um. Well, hold on just a minute. Is that me. your flashback lighting? Yes, this is, is, that this is, is my flashback, flashback lighting. lighting. I'm trying different things. All right. things. Bluffy, yeah. has, Bluffy has quite a background. I am a folk hero renowned in song and legend within my valley, for I defeated the great Stradamel, nephew of Strad, and his cat, as I smell, who smelled terrible. <laughs> um, I'm the first gnome of the tribe of the Snarfs. The poor little snarfs lived in the shadow of Stradamel, <laughs> the evil wizard upon the hill. I feel like I know who wrote this. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and one day, he created me, the snarfette, and he sent me down <laughs> to infiltrate the village of peaceful snarfs and turn them to evil, but they turned me to good. And I used my influential femininity to bring down Stradamel and drive him from the valley and all was well and we sang our snarf song la 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 and we Better stop danced there. and yeah. we sniffed flowers for, for ages copyright and ages numbers. until one day oh is that copyright? no no it's no fine. no, no going, you're fine. fine 10 okay. seconds or less what yeah. is copywritten is my name Bluffy the Stradamel Slayer anyway <laughs> All right. Bluffy, the strap. Bluffy, the Bluffy. Strap. Okay, uh, an another thing uh, my about village. Oh, Bluffy is your yeah. village. My village, I've, I've, I'm traveling right now because my blissful, happy village was apparently kidnapped in the middle of the night and they were disappeared. I woke up and I found drag marks of tiny little snarf feet and the terrible paw prints of, was it wolves? Werewolves, perhaps? Wolves? But Where not just wolves, werewolves, perhaps. Yeah, around, around the village. I've been following them until I hit this fog that just disoriented me, and I smelled meat pies, and then, you know, discovered you lo lovely people. Okay, so, um, yes. Um, but do and, I meet her first? Uh, yeah, well, 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 we'll get to that in a moment. So, so uh, your village, dis all, all, all the people from, all the gnomes from your village disappeared, and it looks yeah. like they may have been kidnapped by werewolves. You're tracking the werewolves and you track them into this fog. I right? did. I, yeah. I, I was saved because even though I was sleeping, mm -hmm. somebody cried out, run, forest gnome, run. Yes. And woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lizbeth, uh, tell, tell us your background. Uh, my background, well, I don't know much about my parents, I, uh, but I was raised by a wizard. And I'm, I'm human, but because I was raised by a wizard, I've, I've learned this. And I was uh, playing around with one of the spells, and it was something that was too strong for me. Yeah, the spell was named Misty Step. Misty Step. <laughs> and I suddenly appeared here. Oh, I, no. I didn't. I wasn't trying to come here to Barovia, but I, after I cast the spell, I just found myself. Right, and, and so you, you cast the spell, and and your the sur your surroundings change. You're not sure where you are. You're on a road in the middle of a forest, and there's this very short person walking towards you <laughs> down the trail. That would be, that would be Bluffy. Hello. Hi. I'm Bluffy. Oh, hi, Bluffy. The first name. You are adorable. <laughs> My name is Lisbeth. <laughs> you look like you can clean a room. I'm really good at cleaning. <laughs> Actually, that was one of my, the things that I always had to do for the wizard growing I'm so up. so sorry, mm. but also impressed. <laughs> yeah, you're just on this road. The road seems to be leading west, and um, I think that's the direction that the tracks were going. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, Lizbeth, you really don't know how you got here, Not but away. here you are. You did it um, by chance kidnap in my village and drive them, drag them away with a pack of werewolves, did you? I really hope not. I was playing around with some spells and I don't know what happened and I wound up here on this road. So I hope that I didn't accidentally do something through a spell that I wasn't aware of. Mm-hmm. So, uh, all right, the old Svalich Road. Black pools of water stand like dark mirrors in and around the muddy roadway. Giant trees loom on both sides of the road, their branches clawing at the mist. Um, as you continue walking down the road, the fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you. Ahead, jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you with only silent. Uh, silence. Well, and, thank goodness uh, for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want them talking to you. There you go. They're, those are your ah, gates. Those are your gates. Uh, yeah. This is this looks foreboding. Yeah, Bluffy, I don't know about this. Do you I know what road we're on here? We are on the road to rescue my people. I suppose you'd like to come along with me? It's going to be a quite dangerous little jaunt. But you seem like a very useful person. Well... I, I'm worried that I might have had something to do with your village <laughs> disappearing, so I will help you. I will go with you and help you. That's both terrible and wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> and yeah, the, and, and you do notice like there's this the, the the fog is sort of billowing behind you and just sort of ushering you down the road. As that sort is of is it encouraging us to go through these gates? It's encouraging you to go so through the gates. It's yeah. thick fog. As you approach the gates, the gates swing open. Oh. Can I can I do can I use uh, find familiar and send my spider in to look around before you we? Have a do you have a too? spider? <laughs> I have a spider. Familiar. Yeah, Bluff, Bluffy's got a little bat that flies around oh, with her. Oh, yeah, and you've got a spider. This is so exciting. Your spider in your back can be friends. Mm-hmm. Tell yeah. the bat he's a okay, spider. Spiders so. and bats are sworn <laughs> enemies. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? So yeah, you send the spider through, and and I mean it's it's the the, the road just keeps continuing. It's muddy. There are pools of water on both sides can of the road. Can you clean it up? There's a thick forest. A bully book shows up. Can you clean up the road? I can clean up the muddy road. Can I do that? Uh, one cubic foot at a time. Oh, it's, no. you'll, you'll be here for a long time. <laughs> And doesn't okay. it go back? Like, isn't that part of the spell? Yeah, that I want to send my hour. bat in to look overhead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Do I see anything from the? Uh, yeah, it's just it's just a road. It's a road. There are footprints uh, going up and down the road. Um, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As you as you go through the gates, the gates swing shut behind you. <gasps> well, that's unnerving. That's definitive. Yeah. All right. Let's go. And All right, just so the gates. We just head on up that road. Yep. Um, towering trees whose tops are lost in the heavy gray mist block out all but a death gray light. The tree trunks are unnaturally close to one another, and the woods have the silence of a forgotten grave, yet exude the feeling of an unvoiced scream. That's a lot for a tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. ton for a tree to carry. Yeah, 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 yeah. The feeling of an unvoiced scream? Is it like the painting? Like <laughs> <laughs> You catch the scent of death. You smell something dead and de- decomposing off the, s- off the side of the this trail. The most evocative wood I've ever traipsed through. Yeah. yeah. The foul stench, the foul scent leads you to a human corpse half buried in the underbrush about 15 feet from the road. The young man appears to be a commoner. His muddy clothes are torn and raked with claw marks. Crows have been at the body, which is surrounded by the paw prints. The man has obviously been dead for several days. He holds a crumpled envelope in one hand. It's a human corpse? Yes, it's a human corpse. I wonder if we should cut his head off and stab him through the heart with a wooden object. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am a forest gnome named Bluffy. I have experience. Uh, okay. You're, right. So we, <laughs> we 
the the, the, the letter the letter has a large well, B set honestly, into its was, wax I was going to do that, and then you did. I the letter did has it. a large B. B set, yeah, set in wax on it. I mean, this, yeah. The letter so. B. Yeah. Uh-huh. For the insect. Oh dear. Let's open it. We open the letter. All right. Um, go I ahead and read it. What's it say? Yeah, Where what's is it, it say? Where's uh, it? There should, you there should be. You have a handout inside your your I do? folder. Lizbet has. Oh, Lizbet Liz- has. Read yeah. the letter. Oh. Okay, yeah, I do it. have it. I oh, okay. prompted. Read this oh, aloud. What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hail to thee of might and valor. I, the burgomaster of Barovia, send you honor with despair. Oh. My adopted daughter, the fair Irina Kolyana, has been these past nights bitten by a vampire. Oh no. For over 400 years, this creature has drained the lifeblood of my people. Now my dear Irina languishes and dies from an unholy wound caused by this vile beast. He has become too powerful to conquer. So I say to you, give us up for dead and encircle this land with the symbols of Christ. Let holy men call upon the Lord that the devil may be contained within the walls of weeping Barovia. Leave our sorrows to our graves and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we are all departed for a better life. Kolyan Indirovich, Burgomaster. That's right, the best that's... plan ever. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if Did, it you ever... didn't follow it? So, okay, said, we're like, going to... Let us all die and come back and take the money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super we're going solid. To, we're going to, uh, we're going to return solid. again to real time, oh, right? Okay. Um, you've got a letter, and you've got a letter. You've got right? a letter. <laughs> you've got a letter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the letter that, that Lizbeth yeah. has. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and as they return to real time, and, and both of these letters seem to be um, seem to be have been written from the same person, right? Um, and as Coley they return to yes. real time, they hear, "I've been bitten by a vampire." Who and says then that? They come back. They don't know. They just heard it. <laughs> they just heard, just heard it. it. Um, okay, so wh- where where were we? We were in the tavern. We were in the tavern. So we are all in the tavern again. That's where we are. Yes. And and yeah, you can compare your respective letters with each other. Uh, both of these letters seems to have been written by Kolyan and Dirovich. Um, and it, it was when Ismark was examining the letter that Ken had that he he noticed that the handwriting didn't really match what he knew his father's handwriting to be. Uh, hello, ladies. I see you have a letter. I have a letter, too. Let's read each other's letters. Why not? I have a letter. Do you have a letter? I have a letter. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. Let's read each other's letters. Hey, this handwriting's totally different. It is different. Say, um, uh, yes. does this oh. look like your dad's uh, handwriting? Hmm... Hail the of might and valor. I, the burgomaster of Borovia. Oh, Koyan Indirovich. Yes, this is, this is, this is, the, this is his handwriting. So this yes. is the real letter, and this is adventurer bait. So. <laughs> Wait, Lizbet has the real letter? I have the yeah. real letter. So That says, leave us all to die. Leave us and all to die, and don't let the devil out. Letter. And it, 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 it calls for uh, holy men to call upon our powers in Jesus, you know, and uh, contain the devil within the walls of weeping Barovia. Well, the fact that the two letters have different handwriting is a wonderful cliffhanger. (laughs) (laughs) That's a super good moment for a break. Upon which (laughs) one might choose to take a brief pause. All right, all right. We'll 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 pause for ten minutes. I, I think that this uh, wizard is bored. So it, it is just... four ten now. We we start at four twenty. Right. Oh, perfect. 420. Oh, we start at four twenty. Uh, thank you, Dan. an episode. We're really starting to uncover some mysteries and learn about our heroes now. This episode was a real joy to produce. There were so many great musical moments. Of course, we want to extend heartfelt thanks to the many musicians who have released their music under Creative Commons license. In this episode, we are so grateful to be able to use the following music tracks. Ayers, instrumental track, Show Me. 
Kyle Preston's Below the Surface and Gregoire Lorme's Inside the Asylum. Esther Garcia's About Life. Paul Warner's Fate's Calling. Michael Gelfi with Across the Black Marsh and also The Inn. Cangano's Imbone. Gregoire Lorme's Ad Vitam. Ample Tunes Westward. Aitua with Elements 2, The Rain. Esther Garcia had a few more tracks, All That Matters, Under the Skin, and Building Dreams. Dana Boulay's At Dawn. Gregoire Lorme's The Forbidden Woods. Jordan Winslow's Within the Threshold. And finally, this awesome track is Carter Vale's Andrew. Thanks for joining us, listener. Let's stay undone. want to send out a heartfelt thanks to Louis Reyes, Travis Stevens, and the whole Butcher Bird Studios crew at ButcherBirdStudios.com. You have been simply amazing. 